So how do we find the percent composition of sodium, chromium, and oxygen in sodium dichromate? Well, it turns out the first thing is we're going to find the total mass, and then we can find those percentages easy peasy. Watch how nice and neat this little table is to help us organize the information. Bam. So the first step is to write the elements we see in the compound. So we have sodium, chromium, and oxygen. Next is then to write down the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So the subscript of sodium is a 2. That means there's 2 sodium, 2 chromium, and then therefore 7 oxygen. Then we're simply going to multiply those number of atoms by the mass of each element. These masses are always found on the periodic table, so let's take a look. Sodium's mass is 22.99, chromium is 52, and oxygen is 16. So that's what we're going to write down. So 22.99, we got 52 for chromium, and then oxygen was 16. Then what we're going to do is find the total mass of the element here by simply multiplying the number of atoms by the mass of the element. So the total mass of sodium here will be 45.98 units of mass. Chromium, therefore, is 104. Let me make that a little neater, align the decimals. And then uh, oxygen is going to be 112. To find the total mass of the compound, then, all you simply got to do is literally add up that column now. So the total mass here is going to be 261.98. And there you have it, right? That's the total mass of the compound. That was the first step. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a column to the table, and then we're going to find those percentages easy peasy. Bam. So to find the mass percent of, let's say, sodium, we're simply going to use this column now. We're going to take the total mass of that sodium, so 45.98 units of mass, and then divide it by the total mass of the entire compound, 261.98. Then multiply it by 100. This is a simple percent calculation, part over whole times 100. Don't worry about the units, they will cancel. So it doesn't really matter what units you have it in, okay? So it's going to be 17.55 now. That's the percent mass of sodium um, or percent comp, right? Either way. So this is then 104 divided by, for chromium now, this is 261.98. Don't worry about the zeros. They won't affect your calculation, though they might affect the number of significant figures. So depending upon uh, how particular your professor is, um, you know, you might need to include them or not. I mean, you should always include them, I guess, but you know, you know how I feel about sig figs. So this is then 112 divided by 261.98 times 100. That's for oxygen now. Look at how nice and easy peasy this is. So when we do that division, this is 42.75%. And then that is it. All right. When you add these percentages up, it should equal basically 100%. And by the way, that's what I want for you on your next exam. Take a look at our channel. We've got thousands of solved questions, not only in chemistry, but we also have it in mathematics, physics, and we got more coming. All right. We really love to help you out. We really want you to succeed. I hope you do well. Good luck.